Wagoner's Walk. Breakfast at the old bakery is rather a chaotic affair these days. <laughs> It's the grapefruit juice, juice with oh, you, Alexis. I just can't get the hang of He's it. He's no good asking me to help you. Alexis. I'm a Greek. I don't know Latin. Well, it's nearly the same, though, isn't it? Greek and the Latin. Nearly the same. He's a fool. Well, He's a boy. Somebody He's mind a... passing right, the... Then, who's for bacon? Me. Oh, and me. Alexis? Uh, just a toss for me, please, Mrs. Bryan. That's already on the table. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Too busy up in Jeremy with his homework. Oh, Not so... helping, you mean? Alexis doesn't know anything. Uh, uh, Who'll teach you pontoon, eh? Who'll teach you card tricks, eh? Well... Who'll teach you click your fingers and waggle your ears, eh? You... Me, me. I don't know nothing. Alexis, He's a fool. Alexis, make the coffee, please, will you? Instant coffee? Mm. Uh, for how many? Three, please. Mm. We'll make that four. Hello, oh, Bill. Morning, all. Oh, you've got antenna, you have, on this when it comes to breakfast. Don't you <laughs> knock him, Matt. He's been up since five. Would you like some bacon and mushrooms, Bill? Oh, I wouldn't say no if there's any going. Sit yourself down somewhere. There's room next to Jeremy, if he shifts his books. I'm doing my homework. Well, you should have done it last night. Well, I didn't know how to. Well, what is it, Jeremy? Latin. Oh, aye. Uh, mm. Coffee, uh, Mr. Ashton. Uh, <laughs> Instant. Oh, thanks, mm. Alexis. Do you know any Latin, Bill? A bit. Well, Daddy usually helps me at home. Ah, yeah. Minden Road's more your class side of the family, you see. This end's more your working men's institute. Oh, Matt, this is all about the dative case. Oh, aye. Well, let's have a look, then. How's the market uh, this morning, then, Bill? Uh, eh? Oh, busy. Get everything we wanted. Aye, yeah. oh, more or less. Everything's very pricey, though. They're calling cauliflower white gold again. Mm. <laughs> they were retailing at about 25 each back in October, mm. cauliflowers. We should have got more in then and frozen them. And where would we have stored them, eh? We've not got the space, Matt. And whose fault is that? Not mine. I've been urging expansion for ages. Oh, not again, Matt, please. Oh, this isn't all that tricky, Jeremy, is it? Well, it is to me. But we've got a test today. Aye, well, dative is just another way of saying it's an indirect object, isn't it? Is it? Like, the farmer gave the flower to the girl. Oh. Any chance of somebody passing the grapefruit juice to the man? How many hands do you think I got? I've been making the coffee. That's what I like, a sense of degree. I've mm. got another job for you later on, Alexis. Oh. That's if you can spare him, Matt. Oh, I'll be glad to see the back of him. Eh, uh, what job? Putting the court tiles up on Jeremy's bedroom wall. Oh, yes, please, Alexis, will you? Uh, I don't uh, think I got the time today. Oh. Uh, anyhow, I don't know nothing, remember? Oh, I, I get it all mean... wrong, yeah? Oh, please. OK, I oh, see what I can do. Great, thanks. Yeah. There we are. Tuck into that, Jeremy. And don't be too long about it. There's a good boy. It's nearly quarter past eight. Smells great. And uh, that's for you, Bill. Oh, Charlo. What's he got that I haven't? Ah, got to keep in with him. I want him to make a few extra deliveries to Priors this morning. Stocks are low and we're booked solid over the weekend. I like the way she disposes of my workforce. Since when am I being your workforce? This is definitely not my morning. Actually... I've got a little job for you as well, Matt. What did I tell you? Mm, one of these days you learn to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> a job for me? Mm-hmm. I want you to collect Jeremy from school at 3.30. Ah, oh, sorry, love. Can't oblige. I've got an appointment. Why can't you do it? I'm having my hair done for the first time since I don't know when. I'm tired of looking like Medusa. OK. Since Matt can't do it, any other volunteers? Yeah, blank faces all round. Well, if no, you no, really... No, 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 no. It's all right, Bill. Don't worry. No panic. I'll ring Peter. I'm sure he'll oblige. Father? Hmm. Father, are you still asleep? Uh, I was. Well, it's getting on for ten, you know. Oh, this place is as bad as a hospital, really. When one's wide awake, they come round with sleeping tablets. And then when one has finally dozed off, it's all wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Well, nobody gives you sleeping tablets here, Father. Well, I could have done with one last night. No. Oh, you should do something about that cough of Abby's. Uh, it's Jane, Father, actually, and I did do something about it. I got up in the middle of the night and gave her some medicine. Yes, I heard you thumping about. It didn't seem to do her much good. Takes after me. Bronchial, I shouldn't wonder. Oh, it's just the time of year most children have coughs in January. Considering the weather, we're lucky it's only Jane. Turn cold, has it? Oh, easterly wind, yes. Oh, that's a blessing. Hmm? At least now you won't be constantly urging me to get out into the fresh air. No, I won't, but I do think you should get up, though. Oh, perhaps I will a little later. Well, you'll feel all the better for it. Later. No, oh, well, please yourself. Anything I can get you now? No, thank you. I'll try to get some more sleep. 
Well, now, your bed's in a bit of a mess here now, let me... No, 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 there's no need for that. Well, you'll be more comfortable when you're tucked in. Peter! Oh. What have you got in there, a paper? Mm. Ah, that's this morning's Herald. Uh, yes. Uh, Elizabeth has done a very good interview. Where did you get this from? Uh, the kitchen. Ah, so you have been up then. Uh, did I say I hadn't? Uh, not in so many words. If you must know, I had to get up to answer the telephone while you were out taking the children to school. Well, while I was up, I made myself some warm milk and brought it and the Herald back here to bed. And when you heard me come back, you decided to hide the paper under the sheets and pretend to be asleep. Why on earth should I do that? I wonder. Anyway, if you've finished with the Herald now... Oh, very well. Help yourself. Thank you. I'll leave you in peace, then. If you want me for anything, don't hesitate to ring your bell. I won't. See you later. Well, don't you want to know who was on the telephone then? Who? It was Lynn. Ah. She wanted to know if you'd be able to collect Jeremy from school this afternoon. I, I said I felt sure you'd be delighted. Yes, uh, yes, I think I could manage that. <laughs> Thought that would bring a smile to your face. Oh, come off, you bugger. Oh, hello, Bill. Oh. Hi, Mike. Want trouble? Uh, flat tyre. Oh. <laughs> right, and they put these wheel bolts in so hard these days, you've got to be Mr. Universe to get them loose. Oh, no, no go. Flipping heck, I've been stuck here for ten minutes already. All the traffic wardens in Hampstead are going to be down on me back. What, can I try? Well, you get your hands all mucky. <laughs> well, it the first time. <laughs> it's all yours. All right. Yeah, not easy, is it? Oh, that's uh, it's impossible. <laughs> your, your face has gone all puce. Well, you weren't looking too hot yourself when I came along. Uh, it's a beggar, isn't it? I'll tell you what you need. What's that, then? Oil to ease the bolts. Oh, I haven't got any. I have. Why? Oh, I've been doing the weekend shopping for Claire. One item on the list was oil. Well, our doors have started squeaking, so... Provided I can dig it out from the bottom of this uh, carrier bag. Talk about a friend in need. Yes, here we are. There. Now, a few squirts of that, and Bob's your uncle. Tja. Uh, how is Claire? Oh, fine. Sue? Oh, she's fine, too. No more trouble? Well, she hasn't swiped anything lately. Oh. Well, uh, thanks for the oil. You're welcome. I'd better wait a couple of minutes for it to work its way through. Yeah. Uh, where are you living now, Bill? Oh, little bed and breakfast place. But for the time being. Ah, it's not perfect, but it'll do. I had to leave the old bakery when Sophie was attacked, you know. Her need was greater than mine. Yeah, well, she's at number one now with us, sharing with Robin Dickon. Ah. She seems to be getting over it. Well, you've got to get over these things, haven't you? Life goes on. That's true. You're looking well. Well, I'm feeling well, thank you. Good. Well, it's been nice talking to you, Bill. Thanks for your help. Let's hope it does the trick. Oh, I'm sure it will. And all the best, then. Yeah, so long, Mike. Oh, uh, give me love to Claire and Sue. I will. Cheers. Cheers. Hi, Dad. Jeremy, why are you always the last? Oh, I was getting my homework together. Well, I wish you could have done it a little faster. Mummy usually waits in the car. Go on, get in this side and climb through. All right. And put your seatbelt on. Oh, OK. Hey, that's not your duffel coat, is it? Yes. Are you sure? It looks new. It is new. Mummy bought it for me. Oh, why should you do that? She said I'd grown out of the other one. <laughs> but you hadn't had that one for long. Well, I can't help it if I grow, can I? Well, it was quite unnecessary. Well, you should tell Mummy, not me. Where is Mummy? Oh, she's having her hair done. Didn't you know? Oh, they were talking about it at breakfast, I think. But I was swatting for my Latin test. The dative case. Ah. How did you get on? Mm, not very well. Why not? Well, nobody knows Latin at the old bakery. Not like you. Oh, well, I do have my uses then. Oh, I can't wait to get home. Yes, well, I know how you feel, old son. It won't be long now. Grandpa's Alexis on the is men. putting up some cork tiles on my bedroom wall for all my paintings. I've got three that can go up already. 
Why is it that drivers in London can't even bother to indicate these days? Mike? Hello? Where are you? Top landing. You're not still oiling doors, are you? <clears throat> I am, you know. I've got a cup of tea for you. I'll be down in two minutes. No, it's all right. I'm coming up. Oh. Yeah, do you know how many doors there are in this house? No. 26. Impossible. And every last one of them squeaked. You mean you've done them all? Well, one to go. Oh, oh, thanks, love. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Yes, a couple more minutes, and there won't be a squeak left in the house. Marvellous. That is, if all the oil doesn't run out. You haven't used it all. No, but the last few drops. Mind you, not all of it went on the doors. Hmm? Oh, I gave some to Bill Ashton this morning. I was coming back from doing the shopping, and he was having trouble with his van. He had a flat front tyre. He couldn't get the wheel bolts loose, so I played the Good Samaritan. And you weren't going to tell me? Well, in some ways, it didn't seem worth mentioning. And in others? It was quite momentous. Because suddenly, he was just another guy. Someone I could meet and talk to with no embarrassment. I felt sure of myself, sure of us. It was as if the bad times had never been. Oh, I would have looked in before, Arthur. Uh, yes, I've missed you. Oh, no, I've had this terrible cold. Oh, dear. Oh, don't worry. I think I'm free of infection now. Mm. Though I'm still not back at the bank. I haven't felt up to it, frankly. Besides, if you breathe one single germ at our young ladies, they seem to go down like flies. My dear fellow, uh, should you be out? Well, perhaps not. However, I've had something on my mind since Tuesday, and just in case there's been any misunderstandings, I felt I should clear it up with you face to face. Yes, it's about Kane House. Oh, yes? And my not wishing to go back there and share. Uh, George, No, I no, don't... please let me finish. I assure you, Arthur, it's nothing personal. I quite enjoyed sharing with you. They were quite good times in their way, but things have changed now. I've been married, and... I have my home behind the shop. It's got its disadvantages, but it was home to Kath and me. And it... uh, George, I'm sure this is all very interesting, but what has it got to do with me? Well, I was afraid you'd be offended that you might think that... Offended about what? My refusal to share Kane House with you again. Well, I never asked you to. No, but Peter did. Peter did? That's right. He suggested that you and I might move back into... The flat at Kane House, yes. I rather assumed the idea came from you. No. Mind you, I, I can see it would have its, uh, its advantages. So uh... that's the way Peter's mind is working, is it? <laughs> well, we shall have to see about that. And you'll be able to hear the next episode of Wagner's Walk tomorrow afternoon at five past five. Meanwhile, there's another chance to hear that episode tomorrow at 12.15. The first omnibus edition of Wagner's Walk can be heard here on Sunday at two minutes past five. <laughs>